What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, here today for the French Grand Prix, one of the dodgy tracks on the F1 calendar, but if you missed the last episode in Canada, I can link that above or down below in the description if you want to go and watch that, but anyway, into this episode, France it's not a great track, is it? It's a bit dull. I think this track has about like 60 odd variations and they couldn't have picked a worse one. But I don't know, we shall see. I'm starting it like this because I feel like qualifying I can go up over and we'll just get into the racing because that's the best bit. But the grid then for the French Grand Prix, it is Hamilton on pole from Sergio Perez in the Renault. And then Stroll, Bottas, George Verstappen, Ocon, Leclerc, Albon, we qualified P10. Then it's Kvyat, Ricardo, Lando, um, Science Ricardo, Vettel, the Tifi, Giovinazzi, and then the two horses bringing up the rear. Let's get into it then. It's pretty comfortable one stop around here. And it's lights out, and away we go. And we're away here in France. Can we get a good start from P10? We actually qualified outside the top 10, but we've been promoted. And we're going to try and go around the outside of the Red Bull. We couldn't quite do that of Alex Albon. We try and get the exit. We've got Daniel Kvyat at the start. We haven't gone anywhere. We try to go around the outside. Kvyat tries to squeeze us. We try and keep our foot in around the outside. And now down the inside, and we've been able to do it. Now, heading around the really awkward right hander before we go on to the back straight. Here we go then, right on the back of Leclerc at front. Can we get the straight line speed to maybe have a go? But we're left defending Daniel Kavia in the Alpha Tauri. He's going to try and go down the inside, but he couldn't. Just a little bit too far back. We've gained on Charles Leclerc, but look at Kavia trying to go around the outside. We squeeze him out, and now he's going to have another go up to the, the flat right hander is he gonna do it no he's not brave enough to do that is he gonna have a go though down the inside we go a little bit wide we go very wide in fact down the inside goes Kvyat he squeezes us out keeping the foot in this quite because the tracks are wide you can take a load of different lines here but it does look like Kvyat nearly got us nearly we defend him off for now, but the car wasn't great around here. I feel like there's a theme that I'm good around the tracks that I like, like like Monaco, like Canada, and we've been quick around them. So France is it's not a great track as I was saying earlier, but can we have another go on Charles Claire we get a horrendous exit there? And now as we head up towards the flat right hander round round that can we have a go on Charles Leclerc it's a bit of an awkward corner but we go very very wide a little a little bit Leclerc's got away we've got no pace and Kvyat is going to go down our inside fair play that's a great move and then we've gone wide we've gone so wide there it, it kind of it looks really odd because it's the racing line but it looks like we've gone wide but Kvyat has got us and we drop out of the top 10 then into P11 started on the medium so we kind of have that option to go longer than those around us but they've also done the same thing I think it was actually raining in Q2 so that was why we could choose any tyre we liked but Kvyat can we have a go down the inside we couldn't and this explains this race on to lap 12 not a lot really happened it's probably the more dull races that I've done <laughs> on to lap 12 into the pits and we're gonna go 
be trundled down the pit lane, very long pit lane here, of course they changed it um, this season compared to last. We're going to go on to the hard tyre and hopefully we have a bit more pace. We're going to go to the end obviously on the hards, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but hopefully we can gain a little bit more places but now in P15 and we'll come out side by side when the heart is we've got to get ahead of him round the outside we get the job done that was on Callum Eilert now skipping on we've actually lost the place we're dropped to P12 then and behind Kvyat again and it looks like Ricardo as well though I think he started in front of us but you can see here all the way on to lap 21 this this race was very dull, I was just on my own and compared to the first stint, but the yellow flags Estevan Ocon is out of the race and there's a safety car deployed and on lap 22 we have a big decision to make we've not been in this race but now we have a chance to get some points if we pit, we are going to pit put on the soft tyres and absolutely gun it for the last, what, 5 laps Hopefully the safety car is not out for too long. I think everyone has stayed out. So we're going to be on much fresher tyres on the softs. And also stuff to compound as well. So we will be quicker anyway. But Trondolin down the pit lane and out of it. We've dropped then to P16. So now it's just a race for points. And can we do it when the safety car comes in? I don't think there'll be that many laps. Because usually when it's towards the end of the race, the safety car isn't really out. It's, it's the start of the race is normally out for what a, a lap or so. But we're in P16. The field is bunched up. But can we actually get through? And he tapped the back of the Alfa Romeo there. And we are away then to restart this race. We've got, what, four laps to get six positions and we're going to start by going down the inside of the Alfa Romeo we get that job done on Nick De Vries I think he's still our rival and now we're on the back of Sebastian Vettel we dispatch of the German we've gone purple in the first sector we was at a personal best in the second sector we're up into P14 tried to go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen that was a bit brave Magnussen a very very aggressive driver but we've done it anyway at the next corner we're up into P13 and now as we watch the laps tick by we'll have two to go after this lap can we get points P13 hopefully um, hopefully Lando won't fight us too hard our teammate and we're going to cross the line and two laps to go Lando please don't hold us up as we go through the first two corners and he has a bit I couldn't really get close to him and around the outside we go we're up into P12 there's two laps to go but there's a 2.3 second gap at the road we've, we've gone purple in the first two sectors but we are not going to get into the points and we are going to finish in P12 that's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Ferme. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
So we did actually get the fastest lap, but right outside of the top 10, so it doesn't count. So it's a Mercedes 1 2 from Sergio Perez. And I have no words for that race. I think that's the first time we've finished outside the top 10 since China. I think. No, um, Zambor, because we finished 11th again, didn't we, with Hamilton? So. We've dropped to P5 in the standings, but this race, let's just talk about this race, because this race is probably the most realistic race I have ever done. It it might as well have been the, been the actual Grand Prix, because of course I was battling with Kvyat in that first stint, I couldn't get anywhere near him, just because of the dirty air, and I was just sat there, even doing it, it was such, such a dull race. I just, it's one of those races where you just want it to be done, you're on your own, I could see the battle, I just couldn't get anywhere near them, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, it was a bit dull to record, but anyway, hopefully we've got good races coming ahead, we've got Austria next, a great track, but in terms of R&D, we're not really going to do anything, we've got quite a few upgrades coming, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you for the Austrian Grand Prix. Goodbye.